First of all, what is the philosophy of the fund that you manage with your team? Uh, well, I think we can say three things. Uh, number one, um, since government bonds are the deepest, most liquid markets in the world, we don't think you can cheat the need to actually understand the macroeconomics of the situation. You can't just be traders. Uh, the second thing is we think that you have to sort of rigorously understand the risks you're taking and be sort of proactive instead of reactive in managing the risks. And in order to accomplish both of those things, we think that the only really way you can successfully do that to the, to the, to the fullest extent is to break down bond yields into forward interest rates and trade each forward rate individually. And that allows you to both find and use, make use of all of the diversification that's actually available to you in the market. What are your expectations on the uh, European recovery and on European inflation? Uh, well, this is actually a fairly recent change of view, but we're actually getting to be, we've for the first time in several years, gotten to be quite constructive on the European economy. Uh, so we think basically that inflation is probably bottoming and that real yields in the Eurozone have reached a level that's low enough. I mean, due to the ECB's actions, they've reached a level that's low enough to spark an actual general Eurozone recovery. Now, this is not something you're going to see in you know, the next couple of months, um, and it is important that these low real yields be sustained, but if these low real yields can be sustained for the next six to nine months, then you should see um, inflation in the Eurozone bottom and start to pick up, and you should see a more general economic recovery in the Eurozone. Um, I would note, actually, that the level of five-year, five-year forward real interest rates in the Eurozone right now is about where the same as what the Federal Reserve had managed in the United mm -hmm. States in the second half of 2012. Yes. And of course, the end of 2012, beginning of 2013, was when the U.S. economy actually really began the, the recovery that's now, of course, you know, maturing as we speak. Uh, what is your view on European government bonds and which ones do you prefer and why? Uh, well, again, we actually now want to be short of real yields, so real interest rates in the Eurozone. So this in, involves, you know, in, in, for a five-year rate strike five years forward, we actually would like to be short. So this involves being short the nominal mm -hmm. rate, we expect it to rise, and being short of inflation on a forward basis. Against that, we're actually constructive of shorter dated inflation in the Eurozone, because we do think that realized inflation in the Eurozone is probably at its bottom, and again, or some, some medium-term, mm -hmm. you know, six to nine months view, we actually think that European inflation should actually start to rise again and the Eurozone will avoid sort of the deflationary trap that Japan got stuck in for some five years. Uh, what about Italy? What's your view on uh, Italian government, government well, bonds? Again, there's sort of two components to an mm. Italian bond. There's the spread component um, and uh, the general over economic view component. Um, in terms of the spread, we're broadly neutral. Uh, we think that because the ECB has now demonstrated quite strongly their willingness to, to step up and be lender of last resort and act like sort of a central bank would act to say the US or the UK where there, there are different countries within the same currency union, uh, this makes Italy much closer to a default free country than, than a country that is borrowing in what effectively is not their own currency and therefore we're broadly neutral in the spreads. They, we, we don't think they'll, they'll tighten or wider, widen on average um, over the next little while. But again, we actually think that real yields, uh, meaning on a forward basis, nominal mm -hmm. yields, will begin to rise in the Eurozone as the recovery starts to be evident in the data and sort of take hold. And so again, this is not something that you're probably going to see in, in the very short term, but that is our medium term view. And so Italian bonds should share in that just like all the others, because we think the spread will be basically you know, more or less unchanged. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.